Well, it's uh, half past eleven. Yeah, it's a bit late, isn't it? Yeah, your family's all gone to bed. No sign of life, anyway. <laughs> With my family's no sign of life when they're awake. <laughs> oh, blimey, this lot's been in bed two hours, mate. How can you tell? Listen, listen. <laughs> oh, blimey. <laughs> Takes them two hours to work up to that. Go on. They spend the first half hour turning up. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, right. Good night, mate. mate. Good night, mate. Things gone again. Bedroom under the bed, get it, Olive. <laughs> <laughs> you keep a spanner under the bed. <laughs> oh, Arthur's like that. He keeps some very peculiar things in his bedroom, don't you, love? You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I need a torch and all. Oh, we got one of them too. Hey? <laughs> torch and a spanner? <laughs> I mean, there must be more to married life than I thought. <laughs> anyway, that old thing, I don't know how you've lived with it so long. No, he's right there, Ma, you know. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Your grandfather put that up with his own hands. Mum, he's been dead 50 years. <laughs> Give us a hand up. Give us a hand up. Hold it. You must find a... Well, hold me on, you want to. 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 Hold me on, you
it just come out of its seat. That's all that's happened to it. Hold that, hold it. Hold the lid. Hang on, got the lid. Right, it just come out of its seat in there. I think I can get hold of the. What's Dan doing? I'm washing my hands, you silly. Kiss the torch. Right. Yeah, what can you see? Nothing. I've dropped the torch in it. You clumsy great idiot, I've just bought a new battery for that. Get it out. How can I get it out? I can't see it, you idiot. It's light's gone out. Well, put your hand in the water, fiddle about. Oh, oh. Blimey. Careful, Stan. Oh. oh. I've got it, I've got, got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Look at that, it won't go on now. Oh, Stan. Well, I can't help that. Oh, Stan, you've dipped your rich spot in the water. Oh. <laughs> I do in fact not a good oh, shut your face. Shut. Kiss the spanner, kiss the spanner. Yeah, yeah. I'll see if I can tighten up the nut yes. on the ball. Already cracked. Oh, Arthur, see if you can fish that spanner out. You what? <laughs> you drop it and you fish it out. Well, you. Oh! <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Jack. Sorry to be such a trouble. That's all right, it's a pleasure. Anytime. See you, mate. Oh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Getting soaking wet every time you want to go out the loo. You should have gone up so late. Wasn't raining when I went. Yeah, well, I do not intend listening to the weather forecast every time I want to go. Well, it can be very embarrassing. I'm going to wait till I go down to the shops. Ah, oh, it's nothing for it. We'll have to get a new one. It's going to cost a bit, you know. Mind you, we could use the old cistern and buy a new pan. Oh, no, if we're going to have a change, I want one of them low-level sweets. What on earth for? I don't want to pull it. I want to turn it. <laughs> You're a snob, that's what you are. Oh. And besides, they cost a bomb. Well, most people in the street have got them. Anyway, I've got a little bit of money saved up for me high-level grill for the kitchen. Now, make up your mind. What do you want, high-level grill or low-level loo? <laughs> Wow. Most people have both these days. Well, you'll have to be different, won't you? You'll have to have a high-level loo and a low-level grill. <laughs> oh, welcome home. That was most embarrassing. As I walked down the street like this, the milkman whistled at me. Most probably thought he was his horse. <laughs> You must be joking, mate. You broke it. You pay for it. Listen, mate. If you don't pay your wet, I'm going to lock it up so you can't use it. <laughs> How childish you are. All right, then. You, me and Mum, we pay a third each. Oh, oh no, no, you won't. There's two of you, you and Olive. No. Me and Mum will pay half, you pay half. You'll be lucky. All right, then. I'll lock it up so she can't use it. <laughs> All right, I'll pay half. I suppose I owe it to her. Oh, thank you, love. You can have it for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do, love. I'll put some candles on the seat and we'll all gather around while you blow them out. Oh, <laughs> boy. You mustn't say those things. Uh, hey, listen, I just thought of something. What? There's a place on our route that have got all these toilets and baths. They've got them out on the pavement. You've seen them, haven't you? Yeah. Do you know what? I reckon I can get one cheap. Oh, we could go and have a look. Oh, I want to go. In that case, I shall be there. I want to see how you're spending my money. <laughs> Why don't we pack some grub and make a picnic of it? <laughs> like some sardine sandwich. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I like that one. 
Oh. That's not a proper one. That's plastic, isn't it? Look. Oh, no. I want a solid one. I don't want them plastic ones. They catch fire. <laughs> not a rock, you two chalk. Catch fire? Yeah. Well, if it catches fire, you just put the handle down, it puts it out, doesn't it? <laughs> how do you open that catch fire? Well, you know how careless Olive is with her cigarettes. She burned a big hole in the blanket the other day. I was in bed. I wouldn't fall asleep in there. You'd fall asleep anyway. <laughs> anyway, if it is plastic, it don't catch fire. It just melts. Well, that could be very embarrassing, can't it? <laughs> I mean, one minute you're sitting there, the next you're floating away on a sea of red-hot molten plastic. <laughs> Now I want a solid. Ooh, I like that one. Now that's lovely. That is, that's old Danil. Oh no, it's not. It's green. Huh? <laughs> anyway, it says he's a frustrated export. Export? <laughs> oh, Stan. What? If it's made for abroad, perhaps it won't work in England. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, like the cars, they're not the same. Well, if it pleases you, I'll put a notice on the back. Left hand drive, no hand signals. <laughs> It might be one of them metrical ones. You know, all different sizes. We're all different sizes, aren't we? <laughs> but you take Olive. She's got a great big fat... Dad, on... <laughs> oh, I mean, it's like... It's like continental shoes. I mean, they're all different. They're too narrow for me. Well, I'll get you a shoe on in case you get stuck. <laughs> God's sake, what's my... Arthur, are we going to have this one or not? Yes, yes, for yes, goodness sake. Let's have that. Here, come on. Here, mate. Yeah, we'll have this green one. Well, they're £8.15. Now, would you like a nice seat to go with it? Oh, doesn't it come with a lit seat? No, no they're an optional extra. Oh. Yeah, a wood or plastic, take your choice, sir. Oh, wood, it's much nicer. <laughs> what do you mean, nicer? Oh, well, your wood, look, that's nice and warm, isn't it? I mean, your plastic's all cold. You can get a rash from plastic. Lama, you don't have to talk a load of rubbish. Well, it's like these nylon shirts. They don't breathe. You have them on a couple of hours and you're all clammy. We're not sitting on there for a couple of hours, are we? <laughs> it has happened, mate. I would, wouldn't like a wooden one. I had a very unfortunate experience with a wooden one in Lowestoft. Huh? Do you remember, yes, Arthur? Yes, yes, yes. I got a splinter from it. Yes, Do you remember? Yes. <laughs> now, look here. Let's make this... Now, if you really want a posh one... How about that black one up there? It's got a lid on it. Oh, yes. Now, that's lovely. Oh, yes. That's more discreet. I mean, look, lovely. this is like having your own front door, isn't it? <laughs> put a knocker on it for you, shall we? Well, have you made up your minds? Yeah, we're going to have this green and we'll lovely. have this black one with the lid yes, here. Right, yeah, we want a cistern, but uh, nothing, dear. You know, a bit cheap. Right, you've got to go with the things that go with it, the pipes and all that. Yeah, you'll find them all in there. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yes. Hold a lot. How much is that then? I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll let you have a lot for 15 quid. Cool. Oh, right. No, and can you send it round straight away, please? No, dear, we don't deliver, not at these prices. Are. Hey? Hey? How the hell are we going to get this home then? <laughs> well, I suppose I could do it for you myself, private. That'll cost you an extra 30 bob. But not for at least a week, you see. A week? Not <laughs> for a week? Well, well, we can't wait that long. No. Here, cop your 15, nigger. Cop the 15, nigger. Yes, I'll take right. the lid. Oh, yeah. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. How are we going to get this home? Well, I'm it? not forking out for a taxi, I'll tell you no, that. No, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, hang on. What's the time? Here you are. Old Jack, his bus is due in a couple of minutes. He'll let us get on with a lot. Take, right. take, take the seat. I'll take, get the seat. seat. I'll get the seat. I'll, I'll take, right. take that. that. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, right, thanks, yeah. Come on, mate. Come on. Well, I hope you're satisfied now, then. Yeah, but it's nothing. Oh, I'm coming tonight. Come on, Arthur. <laughs> oh, look, Mum, there's a couple of seats down there. <laughs> I'm all right now. I've got me out. Hi, mate. You're not bringing that on this bus. Hey. <laughs> Why not? This is a public conveyance, not a public convenience. <laughs> I'm not having that on. Listen, mate, this is part of our shopping. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. You're a right liberty taker, aren't you? I'll get a right rollicking from the inspector if I turn up at the depot with that on board. Look, all we want to do is you drop it off at the bottom of our road. No, no. Why the hell didn't you have it sent? Because he said he'd take seven days to deliver it. Well, that's your hard luck then, isn't it? <laughs> all right, all right. Grab hold of that, Stead. Grab hold of it. Well, if he doesn't mind us popping around his place. Oh, oh yeah, what, yeah, for yeah. seven days? God, blimey, I've had quite enough of that, thank you. Four of you queuing up and me lying fifth. All right, come on in, bring it on. <laughs> Stick it down here and I'll keep an eye on it. You'll have to go upstairs, we'll fall down here. It's all right, Edgar. Hold oh, very tight now, please.
Wash and brush up now, then. <laughs> you are the attendant, I suppose, are you? <laughs> what is this, this object here? Well, haven't you got one in your house? <laughs> How did it get on the bus? Oh, well, somehow I must have slipped it on when I wasn't looking. Eh? Yeah. Or it slipped out of somebody's pocket, I suppose. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, hello, Blakey. Oh, yeah, this is mine. Butler? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might have guessed I'd find you behind that. What do you mean by bringing that object on the bus, eh? Well, what's the objection? Objection? You do know what it is, I suppose, don't you? Yeah, it's a large egg cup. <laughs> egg cup. <laughs> I'd like to see the bird that could fill an egg with that. So would I, but I'd hate to be around when it was flying. <laughs> Get it off, come on. Anyway, listen, Jack let me on with it anyway. Well, he had no right to. Don't hang about. I know my rights. Rule 62, a conductor is allowed to use his discretion to let things on the bus. Yes, and an inspector can use his discretion to order them off. Get it off, come on. You had no right to put it on there. It's unhealthy. Look, mate, you're a bus inspector, not a sanitary inspector. <laughs> Blimey, the way you were talking, anybody would think it was connected up. You heard what I said. Get it off there. You had no right to put it on there at all. It's, it's obstructing the platform. Ah, ah. Rule 81. Nothing will be carried which obstructs the Blackpool. What's the older? Oh, it's him, Blakey. What's the matter now? This bus is not moving off until that closet's taken off. Oh, come, come, go. We'll find some other way. Oh, go on. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a rotten day and all. <laughs> Here, can we go now? No, hang about. I'm going to have a word with your driver. He's running late. And he's gone, so. Well, let's stick it in the back of the bus. Hey, come on! Hey, Hey, oh, yeah. Thanks very much. Well, thank you. Thank you. That's all right. Come ah, on, then. Give me another. First, you're getting a queue. Wow, well, I was only just inquiring. Yeah, well then. Are you sure you made the connections all right? Don't be daft. Now, if you don't fancy it, mate, go elsewhere. That's all. Listen, Mum, I'll put this one in, and it's one of them nice, quiet ones. You can hardly hear a sound. Oh, you come and listen. Yes, come and listen. Go on. All right. Oh, why don't you keep quiet just when Stan's going to demonstrate? It's not a symphony concert. We're not the Albert Hall. <laughs> well, keep quiet while he does it. <laughs> You ready? Who do you think you are? You're already menuing. <laughs> Will you be quiet? Shh! <gasps> <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> no, that was me shushing him. Oh, I've done it, yeah, I'm going to do it now. Now oh, listen, right. here we go. <laughs> Is it finished? Finished that, was it? Oh, and it's lovely. Yeah. Oh, and doesn't the seat look nice? I'm glad we got that solid one. Yeah. Ooh, I've got a lovely little doily crochet. Oh, no, no. <laughs> look very nice. Just finish yeah. it off there now. Yeah. Why don't you put the vase of flowers on it? 
And that picture of Dad in the silver frame, you know. Oh, Stan, how well, could God's you? Sake. Well, well, it's a bit stupid, isn't it? I mean, the doily's gonna fall off every time you lift up. <laughs> <laughs> You're a great twit, you can't lift a seat up. Oh, that could be very awkward, Stan. Well, you're going to need to be an acrobat, aren't you? I ain't got it wrong. It's, it's a bit stiff, that's all. It's, maybe I'll go... Take it off. That's if we're ever going to use it. Either that or put the door in the flowers on, we'll all go round the jacks. Oh. <laughs> Stop being funny. There's no need to take it off. Look, I've left the space here so the system can go back far. That's all it is. I'll give it a push and that's it. Oh. That's here it. we go, right, then. Right, right, right boom. Oh, 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 You died, Jory? Well, I do. I thought it was natural, Mouse. Oh, I thought it was natural. I know, it won't. It'll fall out. <laughs> oh, if it does, does love, you can have a star like he's got. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Now, go and turn it on. No, I'll right. fix it. Oh, right. Is it all done now, love? Now, Mum, it's all done and, I must say, ready for use. Oh, ain't it lovely? I've waited 25 years for this. Have you really? Yes. Well, in that case, you better go first. Oh, no. <laughs> Level sweet. Oh, yeah. Well, well, if it's all working now, if you two don't mind, I was here first. Oh, right. right love, do you mind if I pick up my tools? Yes, I'll do that. You're right, lovely boy. There we are. Right. Yeah. Just uh, be my guest. Thank you. Lovely. Right. Uh, Excuse me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you scoop me for you can't shut the door. That's you and your low-level loo. It makes the pan stick out so far I can't shut the door. Well, can't you shove it in a bit more? Not unless you want the other half in the street. Look, it's no good. You'll have to get a new one like the old one up there. Well, what are we going to do with this one? We've only just bought it. Advertise it, that's what I'll do. I'll stick an advert in the paper. One owner, never been used, brand new. <laughs> well, I'll think of something. Oh. Yeah, well, meanwhile, we've got to make some arrangements for tomorrow morning, haven't we? 